very special award for this individual, whoever does receive it in, in a moment or two. Because this award is voted on by the fellow peers. Uh, about halfway through the academy, maybe a little more, um, I tell the recruits to vote for one of their own that they feel as though is going to make an outstanding police officer, has done a great job in the academy, and uh, they would want them as a partner. They know they can count on them. They know they're going to do a great job each and every time they hit the streets, and they would make this profession proud. And with that being said, this class decided that the Merit Award winner for Class 103 is Kenneth Matz of the Union County Police Department. Individuals, uh, two range masters of Union County, Detective Robert Montague of Cranford and Lieutenant Ken Hagerman of Roselle. Good evening. Thank you, Chief Danko. The firearms portion of recruit training is a two-week course, which recruit in which recruits are immersed in classroom training as well as shooting at the weapons range. They're taught safety, nomenclature, ballistics, weapons functionality, tactics, cover and concealment, as well as weapons maintenance. Recruits are trained in the use of handguns as well as shotguns. The week spent at the range is an intensive, important part of a recruit's training. Over 2,000 rounds of ammunition are fired during that week, and each recruit must attain an average qualification score of at least 80 throughout the process. I'm pleased to report that every recruit passed their training through their dedication and hard work. To the members of Class 103, congratulations. Very shortly, you'll be patrolling your beats, and I know you're tactically prepared to protect yourselves, your partners, and the public from any, any threat or attack criminals may present to you. Like so many officers before us, I know each of you will perform your duties bravely and honorably. Each of you worked hard on the range, and your class leadership was second to none. All of the instructors that assisted us were impressed with your skills and professionalism. For that, I thank you. We present two awards for firearms training. The first is the Charles Jost Most Improved Shooter Award. This goes to the recruit who may have had a little difficulty in the beginning of the firearms range, but shot very impressive scores on qualification day. The second award goes to the officer with the highest average qualification score. With this class, that was a very difficult person to determine, as most of uh, the scores were only separated by a point or two. Class 103's most improved shooter, Officer Jesse Babcock of all the
best marksmanship award goes to an officer who shot impressively throughout the training process and achieved the final average qualification score of 97.2. <coughs> officer George Oroko of the Perdan White Coast. Next award is the EVOC Award, or the Emergency Vehicle Operation Control Center Award, and this will be given by Police Officer Brian Barnes of the Roselle Police Department. He'll explain to you what uh, these recruits had to do to pass this course. Officer Barnes. The Emergency Vehicle Operation Control Course is derived of handling and safety. Recruits are put through training to maneuver vehicles in very stressful situations that may occur when they're both on and off duty. Recruits are asked and challenged to maneuver their vehicles in precise <coughs> and safe ways that can assist them and not only in their daily patrol, but their everyday driving ability. This award is given to the recruit that has demonstrated that he can get to an emergency with his police emergency vehicle without being an emergency with that police vehicle. This award is presented to a recruit that demonstrates the best all-around all driving skills during the course instructed on EVOC course, and that would go to Alvin Chan, alternate driver. The next series of awards is going to be in the physical training area. When I took this academy over uh, a little over three years ago, uh, one of my main goals was to improve physical training in the academy and all the recruits. And I had the biggest help from several of my physical training officers. Uh, my lead instructor, Dan ha uh, Detective Ed Hannawalt, please come forward. He was my uh, right arm in uh, improving all the physical conditioning at the academy. But we also had other help. And I'd like to ask some of the uh, other physical training officers to come forward. First, uh, Officer Pat Grady from Clark. Chief started to explain, uh, physical training at our academy is one of the blocks of instruction that they, the recruits have to go through just about each and every morning. Uh, these gentlemen that stand to my left, as well as myself, uh, everybody has their passion in life, and other than law enforcement, I can tell you right now, one of our passions in life is physical training. It's our hobby, we love it, we live it, so when the recruits come in, we force it upon them, whether they like it in the beginning or not, um, some do, some don't, but 
by the end. If they're, if they're, they're sitting down there right now, they definitely earned their spots there as far as I'm concerned physically because the physical training that they go through is no joke. Uh, it's about an hour and 15 minutes each and every day while most people are hitting the snooze buttons or uh, just waking up to go to work. We've already been doing push-ups, calisthenics, weight training, medicine ball work, obstacle course, running, sprints. You know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. First award I want to give out tonight is the best all around in physical fitness. Obviously, the award explains itself, but th this award basically goes to the recruit who uh, at, is at the peak of the class. Each and every morning, this recruit demonstrates that they are the best. Uh, this was a close award this year, but this individual definitely, uh, by the end of the academy class, proved to us that he's deserving this award. This award goes to Robert Sobosinski. <laughs> doesn't exactly go to the individual that is the best in class in, uh, in physical training, although this officer was near the top as well, but this goes to the person that each and every morning, whether they're feeling under the weather, whether they have a slight muscle pull, whatever, they were ready to go every single morning. This person radiated the fact that they love to work out. Um, I'm going to embarrass this person a little bit as well, but I'm going to hold it off because there's, there's uh, another award this individual is going to be coming up for. But, this best all, most dedicated in physical fitness goes to police officer Jorge Orocho, her family. <laughs> Chief Danko uh, approached the training staff and said that he has a great idea to, to add some, you know, more dedication and some, to be able to drive these recruits to be the best that they can be. So he said, why don't we come up with an award that has a series of events to challenge the recruits? And then he put it on our plate to come up with the events. Uh, the following events that the recruit has to do in order to achieve a red brick is to be able to run a mile and a half in under 10 minutes be able to bench press their body weight 15 times or more, be able to do at least 15 pull-ups or more, be able to do a 50-yard dash in under seven seconds, and be able to do our complete our obstacle course in under a minute. So what we're looking for is a recruit that is absolutely in outstanding shape, has to be all around and everything. To give you an idea, we've now done this quite a few years now. We've had over 200 recruits come into the academy since the award started, and tonight, the 17th, 18th, and 19th recruits out of like 200 are the ones that, that have done this. So it's a, it's a very prestigious award as far as I'm concerned uh, to get them. Now the three recipients that did do this award are Jorge Orocho, Luis Alfaro, the County Sheriff's Office, and Robert Sobosinski.
I won't embarrass you. <laughs> Just to get, you don't mind, right? Okay. Just to give you an idea that you're never too young to stay in outstanding shape, this individual's almost 40 years old. He's done this.
first of all, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates. I know this is a very good day for all of you. And uh, the 200 Club of Union County is a, a group of more than 400 business and professional people throughout Union County that support first responders, police and firefighters, and th their families in the time of need. For fallen officers, uh, we're there with financial assistance uh, for the families. Also, uh, we hope that you'll take advantage because we have uh, scholarship assistance for officers continuing in their legal education. And then finally, we provide about $40,000 a year in uh, scholarship assistance to uh, four students, uh, two boys and two girls every year, uh, a, a competitive scholarship for high school seniors that are the children of uh, police officers and firefighters in the county. That said, uh, I'm here to honor one officer here tonight for the highest final score on the written examination. I have a leather bound certificate here that, to present him with, and also a savings bond uh, for uh, the achievement of this officer. And this goes to Officer Lewis A. Alfaro, Union County Sheriff's Office. Jose Santiago, Perth Amboy Police Department. Jason Fama, alternate route. Hired by the Springfield Police Division, assisting 
in the presentation, as we've been told, his father, Chief Ryan Mahoney of the Scotch Plains Community. <laughs> Norman J. Merck, Jr., Alternate Group. <laughs> Bruce McDonald of the Union County Sheriff's Office. Toma, alternate group. Assisting in the presentation, his father and grandfather. His father, Detective James Toma, retired from the Essex County Prosecutor's Office. His grandfather, Detective David Toma, retired with the Northern Police Department. Danielle N. Walker, Plainfield Police Division. She presented by her sister, Police Officer Alonda Walker, with also the Plainfield Police Division. Christopher Stanaway, Union County Police Department. Jesse Babcock, alternate group. <laughs> Michael V. McGlynn, Jr., alternate group. Robert 
J. Sobosinski. Seiko the third, Perth Amboy Police Department. Robert Stone, retired from the Port Authority Police Department. <laughs> 